Okay, this is experiment number six. So the experiment of the number six is the directional of the emission radiation from the radiative source. So the question now we need to understand, if you have any source, this source over there, how this source give us radiation? Is it give us radiation maximum where? So if you have this radiation, if you put it on the box, for example, like this, in this box, and this is box is the laid box. So now we'll be have a beam of the radiation coming on the this direction. But still we'll be have some of the radiation coming in the many different angles as well. So we need to know how this radiation is coming and which radiation, which kind of the radiation that we have. Before I start to explain this experiment, we need to know what the difference between the alpha, uh, gamma and which kind of radiation I'm going to use in this experiment. So as we know, we have gamma ray here in this lab, and we have the alpha particle, and we have a proton with the sum of the beta particles as well. As we know, what does it mean gamma ray? Gamma ray is the photon which is coming from the nuclei, because the nuclei is not stable. So what they try to do with this nuclei to go to the ground state, when you go this nuclei to the ground state is the emission sum of the photon and this photon which is called over there gamma ray. What do you have here also in this lab? We have alpha particles. So the alpha particles is some of the nuclei which is include two, two protons with the two neutrons as well protons and the beta which is we have here beta plus and we have beta minus or positrons so as we can see here all of this is, is the particles and we have only this photon which is the gamma ray what we are going to focus now in this experiment we are going to focus only for the gamma ray to use it here because the range or all, most of this we cannot use it here in this experiment which could be in between four up to them seven centimeter in air. So for that things, we need to focus only for the gamma ray, which is the photon in this radiation. We need to know how this radiation gamma ray could be emission on the, all the angles and where is the maximum radiation that we got. So logically, it should be somewhere here, right? But we need to know how's the radiation over there, how's the radiation over there. How we can do that? So actually what you have here, we have the Geiger uh, Muller detector, which is the, some kind of the argon in this kind of the tube. And, um, and we have uh, some of the pressure, of course, inside this detector. And the one radiation coming to hit this kind of the sensitive layer on this, um, uh, on this detector, it could be some kind of the ionization inside this detector could be happened and this ionization could be make us some kind of them signals and this signals it could be goes direct to the pre-amplifier and the amplifier in this counting which is care which is called over there counter so the, the counter over there it can be counting how many how many signals is coming from these detectors so how we can do that? So actually what do you have? We have something like of them uh, uh, source over there. We need to know how this source could be give us the radiation on the, all the angles. As we can see here, the source is the cesium uh, 137. So we are going to use it now, this cesium here. We put the cesium over there like this and we block over there because we don't need to get any effect from the radiation and then as we can see over there the radiation coming from this window so if you're looking now for this is cage over there so this cage we have so uh, the straight line could be have here and this angle which could be we can name it here as the zero and here we can have uh, minus 90 
up to the minus 90, minus 80, minus 70. We continue up to get the zero. And then we started over there minus 10, minus, uh, sorry, uh, plus 10, plus 20, plus 30 degrees. All of this is, is the, all up to get the 90 degrees over there. So we have the positive side and the negative side. So we need to know how much the radiation in this point, in this angle, in this angle, and in this angle. So we continue also on the positive direction. So let's go to start it now. Let's go to put it here. So make sure that your detector should be got here between this window and um, the started point here. So now we can see is the Z angles over there is almost is the zero. We are going to use the this counter, focus on this counter. So what do you have here? We have a start, we have a stop, we have reset. So start. Of course, when you started, this is his work. Stop and reset. Start, stop and reset. So what we have to do here, we have some kind of them, as you can see here in this notebook, is the same that we have over there. We have the Gaia, we have it is the same, the counter, and the directional angles over there. So what we are going to do now, we are going to make a table like this. And this table is the count per 60 seconds. So what does it mean 60 seconds? That means one minute. That means we have to use the timer. Use, please, your smartphone as the timer. And then just do it like this. Start from here and start from there and make the first angle. So it's the first angle, you should be used now here. Over there, we can use it as the maximum one, it should be 90. So now we are going to test it. Start with the start. Oh, sorry once again yeah so in this case when you reach this one minute we should be stop it direct like this so now we have uh, 20 30 minutes 30 seconds so look at the counters, that means here we have a lot of the signals, radiation and the signals coming from the, this detector on the, this angle. Make sure that you are ready to stop here and to stop there at the same time. Five, seven, nine, stop. Stop. Sorry. So it's the 300, 384. So we have to write here 384. This is the first point. And, and then we can should be reset and the change the angles to use the another, yes, another angles. Now we are using here minus 10 and then minus 20, minus 30 angles. And they continue in this direction step by step. Each of this should be take one minute. So in this case, we'll be have different angles, different count rate. Each of this count rate should be got it here, like of the four count per second. That means how much you'll be got over there. It should be divided by the 60 second you'll be got by the count. So for example, we got here uh, 238 divided by the 60 second. So you should be got something like um, maybe, yeah, should, how much will be got and the unit over there, yeah. So here will be have two, three, eight divided by 60. And this is, can be give us a 3.96. This is count per second. That means we need the unit over there count per second. So we have to divide it each, each number we got it over there for one minute divided by them uh, uh, 60 seconds, you got this kind of the count rate. So do this kind of the experiment for each angles that we have over there. So when you're done with this, you have to make some of the graph 
and this is, should be very something very simple. Here will be have the angles, so it should be have something like this. So here, all the angles should be here. This is, should be zero over there. Here should be nine, and here should be plus 90 degrees. So probably will be got something like this. So what is the maximum of the radiation that we got? Should be got it here at the angles zero. So here we need to see how this radiation, it could be distributed actually as the fraction of the angles. So here is the, the, the purpose of this kind of, um, of the experiment. You have to show us this kind of the figure which could be um, it could be tell us the message that the radiation could be give us on the stress line or on the ninth or on this angle could be the maximum but still we have some of the radiation here which are another angles thank you so much